Lodge is situated on the banks of River Nile. The lodge was originally constructed in the 1950s. Following decades of being abandoned, the new Trove Safari Lodge now exudes elegance and energy once again after being renovated and reopened in 2012. You're welcome to show me. Wow. Hi, I'm Kemi Yondo. Sandra is my name. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Kemi. Thank you. You're welcome to show me. Oh, thank you. Oh, wow. The interior juxtaposes the authenticity of a safari with modern touches in design and amenities. I'll lead you to the room where you're going to stay. Yes. Do you want to see it? I want to see the room. I'm excited. Welcome to your new home. Will I ever leave? <laughs> this is beautiful. This room has a luxurious bathroom and shower, air conditioning, cozy, comfortable king-size beds, and a private balcony with magnificent views of the Nile. We drive away from the rooms to go check out the tents that are situated right on the banks of the River Nile, amidst the wild animals like warthogs, hippos, and elephants. So this is the tent we're going to? Is this really a tent? It is a tent. It looks like a house. No. <laughs> if you want a little more exclusivity and privacy, the tents are just right for you. The interiors are more spacious and the furnishings are more suited to the safari experience. From the balconies, one can experience unparalleled views of the wild animals and the sunset on the Nile. And by the way, the hippo grazed as close as this. Right here? Mm hmm Yes. Mm, as close as that. The <laughs> difference between the tent and the room. Exactly. I think I'll stick to my room. Oh. <laughs> Our next stop is a presidential cottage, situated on a private section of the property. So, Ooh. welcome to the presidential. There is a twin bedroom, a double bedroom, and a large living room. One can relax on the balcony and terraces overlooking your own private lagoon where buffaloes, hippos, and elephants swim. Now that's presidential. Walking through the cottage, we come across a local board game referred to as Omueso. Well, let's play because wow. I think I'm the one who's gonna wait, win. Wait, wait. If I, I, I win, I stay in the presidential oh my cottage. Goodness. Are you ready? It's not yet a deal. <laughs> we didn't think about it's a it. a deal. Oh, Done. let's go. See. I have singles. I don't think I'm winning this one. It looks like Kemi Yonda has won herself the presidential <laughs> cottage. Oh my god. So goodness. you'll hand over the keys, <laughs> Not yet. I'll hand over when I leave. For now, it's still in my hands. All good things come to an end. But to experience where safari meets luxury, you will have to visit it for yourself. On your website, you describe Chobe Lodge as one of the most luxurious lodges in Uganda. Can you tell us more about what makes this so luxurious and what sets it apart from the other lodges in Uganda? With a view like this, I think I don't have to explain <laughs> more. It is talks of itself. But apart from that, we have uh, nine categories of rooms. We have a presidential, we have a honeymoon suite, we have standard suites, standard rooms, Deluxe rooms, we have standard tents, uh, deluxe tents, and then we have a family cottage for those who like to stay together as a family. And that's just the beginning. With a three-tier swimming pool, state-of-the-art gym, and air-conditioned lavish tents, Chobe Lodge is truly the place where luxury meets safari. The luxurious and exclusive comfort in all of these rooms is accompanied by a stunning view of the Nile. The Nile is the main focus of our activities. We have fishing, and then the game drives. Uh, you can drive into the park, there are a lot of animals. And with the time that the park was not operational, the number of animals increased. So we find that now there's more sightings than it used to be previously. Uh, you can go on the boat ride on the Nile to the bottom of the force. You can also have a ride to the top of the force. So we have quite a number of activities that people can do when they're staying with us. What would you say makes Chobe unique? Uh, basically, is the location. One of the things that occupies a very unique uh, location in the Mason Forest National Park and is very easily accessible. 
because from Kampala is 270 kilometers, which is about roughly three and a half hours, depending on the traffic, on the conditions of the road. You can also fly in from uh, Entebbe or Kajansi, which is about one hour. And the airstrip is right in the premises, oh. about uh, less than uh, 100 meters from the reception. You just land and you're there. So I heard your gym made a, a, a list. Could you tell us more about that special list it made? The CNN was conducting uh, a search on the gyms with the best view from the gym when you're in the gym. And we came fifth out of 20. Yeah. In the whole world? In the whole world. That's we an accomplishment. <laughs> yes, it was. If you could describe Chobe in three words, what would those three words be? I can only think of one word, and oh. it's awesome. 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 And indeed, it is awesome. <laughs> yes, it is. Thank you for taking the time to talk to me, Kenneth. Thank you very much, Kenny. After my interesting interview with Kenneth, I am eager to work out at the award-winning gym and of course take a dip in the pool, or should I say pools, to cool myself off. The swimming pool at Chobe Safari Lodge is the most unique of its kind. It features three separate tiers of the pool, giving you the choice of more privacy when you swim. Each tier boasts the same magnificent panoramic view of the River Nile on its journey from Karuma Falls to Murchison Falls. Sipping on a cocktail while watching the sunset over the Nile, I honestly can't think of a better way to end my day. What is authentic? Does it exist? Can a chef from another country be able to cook a traditional cuisine of a totally different country and culture? Well, I met Abbas, a chef from Zanzibar who trained in Mauritius and now prepares delicious Ugandan local cuisines. Today, uh, what you prepared for you, I prepared a, a just simple dish, just a grilled uh, beef medallion with, uh, with the malacuan and sweet potatoes. I can't pronounce it, so it no. must be great. <laughs> Absolutely. In fact, malakwang is one of the beautiful uh, vegetables in northern Uganda. Oh, really? And you'll never get this malakwang in any part of Uganda, part of northern part of Uganda. It's really beautiful. Oh, I feel yeah. lucky to be yeah, eating. It's really good. It's from... a little bit, yeah, it's a little bit, uh, it's a little bit sweet and sour. Okay. And we mix a little bit with uh, with uh, with the peanut paste, with the simsim paste and peanut. Okay. Yeah, and then we mix all together. A little bit of tomatoes. Yeah, okay. and then. Uh, it it gives a taste a little bit of a sweet and sour. It's really beautiful. You make it sound so simple. Yeah, it's very simple, but it's, it's a beautiful dish. Really. <laughs> I'm sure if I tried yeah. to make it on my own, it wouldn't turn out. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. But it's really simple. It's very, very simple. You heard that. Cooking is very, very simple. To make it even simpler, Chobe Lodge buys all its cooking ingredients from the local people to prepare these amazing meals. These are all ingredients we get from uh, the local here. We don't get anything from our. So how long does a dish like this take to prepare? Well, it doesn't take long. The only thing is uh, uh, malakwang is a little bit, uh, it takes a bit around 10, 15 minutes to prepare. The malakwang is boiled for around 10 minutes. Then it's strung, chopped, and mixed with peanut paste, locally known as odi, and tomatoes. Well, yeah. let's taste. Okay, you're welcome. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> this is good. Imagine the flavor, you get a sweet potatoes, it's a bit of sweet and malakwang, a bit of sweet and sour, and, yeah. and the beef. It gives a nice, nice flavor. This tastes very good. Mm -hmm. Being majority of a clientele here, they're the locals. You can't believe it. There's 90% of clients that are the locals within Uganda here. Wow. Now they go more with the local, local, local cuisine. Mm -hmm. Because it's local cuisine, but we try to enhance it a little bit with a European style, so we give a little bit, we up with the local dishes to high standard. Like a hybrid. Absolutely. <laughs> yes. <laughs> What's your favorite thing about your job as a chef? I love playing with the food. I love playing with the different ingredients of uh, different recipes. And it, you, 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 know, you know, cooking is all about creativity. Mm -hmm. I must say my favorite thing is the sweet potatoes. I have never tasted sweet potatoes like really? this. Yeah. Sweet potatoes? Are they glazed? Yeah, we get a little bit with the butter. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you so much for this meal. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I've really enjoyed it. I can say that it's the best meal I've had in a long, <laughs> long time. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>
to Chobe Safari Lodge in the Murchison Falls National Park will not be complete without this unique safari bush breakfast. I happened to find one of the families that is visiting Chobe for the second time and we have a little chat. Um, how have you found living in Uganda? You said you're living here for six months? Yes, yeah, seven months. Yes, yeah, Seven. Is it everything you hope for? Oh, it's amazing. It's, <laughs> yeah, it really is incredible. Yes. I, just, uh, I mean, Chobe does everything so nice. We, I knew it would be, be very nice when we came here. Yeah. But yeah, they, <laughs> they never disappoint. With Chobe, it's one activity after another. From the bush breakfast, we head for a nature walk with our guide, Dewo. So am I safe on this walk with you? Yeah, you're safe. In fact, this is more of uh, representing yourself to wildlife. Okay. Let's yeah. hope that's yes. all it is. <laughs> yeah, that's good. You're most welcome. Please. Thank you. Yes. So what are some of the animals we can expect to see? We have got uh, star quality attractions. We have got uh, the giraffe here. Okay. Buffaloes, Uganda cobs, uh, elephants. Sometimes they are spotted around when you do a walk but mainly they prefer the riverside. Barely five minutes into our nature walk and we can already see the tall, blonde, rare Rothschild giraffe. Yeah. How can you tell that it's male? Oh yeah, it's male. In fact, you look at the skin texture. Okay. In fact, uh, you can see that he's developing that bit of uh, dark color. Uh -huh. Yeah, that is a clear indicator that uh, he's uh, a sub-adult male. They are generally peaceful animals and only become aggressive when protecting their territory. In fact, there are three species mm -hmm. in East Africa. We have got the Rothschild, which is common here in Uganda. You can only find it in Machon Falls and Kidepo Valley National Park. And then we have got the Maasai, which is not found in Uganda, but in Kenya and in Tanzania. And then the rich-related giraffe, that's not here in Uganda. So it's Kenya, Where Tanzania. Where is that one? It's in Kenya and Tanzania, okay. yes. So this is a special animal here. It's one of my favorite. It's a graceful animal, very elegant. And uh, it's so amazing seeing that animal there. So quiet, it really mm. shows that you're truly in Africa. What's your favorite animal? Ah, uh, well, it's an advac. Oh, yes. Yeah, I know very few people see that, but it's I know, really interesting choice. Yeah, How yeah. come? Uh, well, I like the characters, yeah. Mm. It's a special character. In fact, in my life, I've ever spotted it thrice. So what are some of the characters you like about uh, it? Well, Nocturno, mm. just seen in the night, and then it does something that other animals, in fact, don't do. Just imagine digging an anthill and getting your mm. food stuff from there. So it's quite an interesting job. So if you were an animal, you'd be an artifact? Definitely, I'd <laughs> use my snout. Yes. Yes, yes. Thank you so much. It's not every day that I get to be this close to a giraffe and hear so much interesting information about nature. Um, I wish you all the best in seeing more artifact. <laughs> That's great.